All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 24 minus 16. So to solve this problem, my solution, my first start by rewriting my problem here. So I have 2 to the power of 24 minus 16. And this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 times 12 minus 16. So all I did was I rewrote 24 as 2 times 12 in my exponent. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 2 times 12. And I can rewrite that as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 16. And now I'm going to rewrite 16 as 4 squared. So I get 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 4 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Notice how we have 2 to the power of 12 squared minus 4 squared. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 12, and b is 4. So I get 2 to the power of 12 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 12 minus 4. Now, 2 to the power of 12, what is this equal to? Well, we know that 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1,024, meaning 2 to the power of 11 is the same thing as 1,024 times 2, which is 2,048. And 2 to the power of 12 is equal to, sorry, 2,048 times 2, which is 4,096. So I get 4,096 plus 4 times 4,096 minus 4. Now from here, 4,096 plus 4, that's equal to 4,100. And 4,096 minus 4 is equal to 4,092. So I get 4,100 times 4,092. And now we have to find a way to solve this without a calculator. Because, well, the first method everyone would think of is just doing it normally, right? But this is wrong because it's going to take way too long and we need a more efficient method. So how are we going to multiply these two quickly? Well, we, what we can do is rewrite 4,100 as 4,000 plus 100, and we write 4,092 4, as 4,000 plus 92. Now, the reason I did this is because now I can distribute. So I'm going to distribute 4,000 first. 4,000 times 4,000 is 4,000 squared. Now, 4,000 times 92. And now I have this plus, you can distribute the 100. So I have 100 times 4,000 plus 100 times 92. Now from here, 4,000 squared is going to equal 1,600,000. Or sorry, 16 million. Plus 4,000 times 92 is going to be 368,000. Plus 100 times 4,000 is going to be 4, 400,000. Plus 100 times 92 is 9,200. Now this is equal to 1 million, or sorry, 16 million plus 368,000 plus 400,000 is 768,000. And I have this plus 9,200.
and this is all equal to I have 16 million plus 768,000 plus 9,200. Well, let's do first row. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Second row, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Third row, 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. Fourth row, 0 plus 8 plus 9 is 17. We're going to carry the 1. Fifth row, 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. Sixth row, 0 plus 7 is 7. Seventh row, I just have 6. And eighth row, I have 1. So I get 16,797,200. So this, or sorry, looks like I made a mistake. This is actually a 6. So this should be carry the 1, 6 plus 1, which is 7. So I get 16,777,200. So this is my answer to 500 squared. Sorry, that's not. It's my answer to 2 to the power of 24 minus 16.